I want to talk about both Sammy and Amy's relationship with Zach. Now, first, um, Zach describes uh, Sammy is not as a third wheel, but a wing. Can you talk to me about Sammy's relationship with Zach? Oh, it's it is the most pure form of a third wheel, um, and it 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 really is. I think they do. They're they're a very important relationship in each other's lives, and not the one that you know everyone expects expects it to be. I think what I love about our movie is like you know I don't want to spoil anything, but it isn't just this like love triangle of like you know uh, two girls fighting over the same guy that they love. It's it's two girls that desperately love this person as a best friend and um and a boy that loves each of these girls you know to the the utmost uh, extreme and i think that sammy and zach had a very special connection when it came to music and i think anytime that you have a musical connection with somebody especially like someone your age um i think it's it's really rare to find um and obviously you see what they were able to create together and how much it's done for the people in their lives, the people beyond them, the people that know about Zach's story. Um, and now we're able to make it into a movie just a couple years later. And I'm so excited for people to, to take away whatever they need from this movie. There's a lot to take away from it. Now, uh, Madison, question for you. It seems that Amy has um, like a lack of experience that youth brings, uh, which, which makes it harder to gauge just how emotional of a roller coaster she's signing up for. Uh, why does Amy stick with Zach uh, through everything? More than anything, I they were soulmates. I think, you know, they were meant to be together. This was meant to happen. I think what they went through, no one can experience unless you go through something like that. Um, and they were able to share such an incredible time together, knowing that that was the only time that they had left. And I think... That, I mean, Amy's tried to explain it to me, but I really, there's, you can't understand it. Um, and so I think that was, you know, as far as like lack of experience, she was just kind of like jumped into adulthood really quick because this was a serious thing that they were dealing with. Um, and in a way they were just sort of a rock for each other and there to bring each other up and, and just kind of escape reality for a little bit with the time that they spent together. Sabrina, uh, Sammy is Zach's songwriting partner so much, but she's also so much more than that. Can you talk to me about um, how they connect with each other, especially uh, through their songwriting? I think that was their main form of communication, if I'm being honest, that and jokes. Like their humor in their relationship was like the most important part from what I've gathered and just from spending the time with Sammy that I have and watching the documentary. And, um, you know, I, I think it was a very important relationship in both of their lives. And um, I, I think they felt safe when they were writing with each other. And, and I think that um, Sammy was kind of very much able to be a place of comfort for him to feel supported and heard. And obviously like they both encouraged each other with their talents and their abilities and lifted each other up. And, um, you know, at 17 years old, we're able to make an album that was like, you know, I don't know, when I was 17, like I was singing songs about, uh, I mean, like adult things, but at, there's something that, because their music is so raw and stripped down and, you know, they're being very honest and sincere with where they were at in their lives. Like there's there's something so um, incredible about that. Um, so it, it, was, it was very much a treat to be able to not only meet Sammy and work with Sammy, become Sammy's friend, um, but be a part of something like this and, and, and be a vessel for their story that's going to touch so many lives and already has. So I also, I, I mean, Laura obviously wrote the book that this film is based on. Um, was she on set with you guys? It sounds like obviously uh, Sammy and Amy, you guys have had interactions with, but was, was Laura there in the process of making the film also? And if so, um, how did she help or help inform some of your performances? Because that must have been a tough thing to go through, reliving that again. Yeah, I, she actually, they, they all were there pretty much half the time of us filming, which I actually found a comfort in. It was very nice having them there. It just felt right. Um, I do remember our first day of filming, maybe our first day of filming, or close to the front. Um, 32, Laura was there, like from the beginning. Yeah, um, there was one day in particular where Finn first put on the bald cap and Laura was there to see him and she just instantly was across her tears. And I, I just can't even imagine what was going on in her head right then and there. Um, but 
they were our support system and they filled us with so much knowledge and everything we needed to carry on these characters and their support I think meant more to us than I even know um because I don't think we could have done it without them there now both both uh Sammy and Amy are both strong powerful women and like you said Sabrina I do like the fact that this isn't like a love triangle type of thing but yeah. um what do you think so many especially young women can take away from Amy and Sammy's journey oh um, I think to, to love the people you love really hard. Um, and I think to like, again, it wasn't just like their love and appreciation for Zach, but also their love and appreciation for each other post Zach. And, and when they didn't have Zach anymore, how much they were there for each other. One of my favorite scenes in the whole movie is the last scene with Sammy and Amy, like looking up at the sky. Like, I think that that's such a, an incredible moment. Um, and that really happened in real life, which still blows my mind to this day. Um, yeah, like it's, it's mind blowing, like really. And so, I don't know. I mean, there's so much to take away from them because they are so poised and smart and just beautiful hearted people. Um, it just kind of shows you that like everyone's going through something and, and the way that they were able to turn something that could have been a, an experience that really took them down, it lifted them up and, and it inspired them to, continue to do so much for not only kids, people all over the world that um, have osteosarcoma, but beyond that, people that are struggling with with anything. I mean, it's it's such an incredible story that both of them are, are such a pivotal part in. So I feel very grateful. Well, look, you guys did an amazing job uh, on this film. Thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate it. Thank I you. Guess.